what up y'all so i saw a report today talking about uh shannon sharp possibly leaving fox and would end up being the end of the undisputed run with skip bayless and i can't say i'm surprised because i know since the damar hamlin incident where skip uh didn't apologize and kind of got a lot of heat over the situation that happened where Hamlin almost died and he was more concerned about football being played than a person's life and I know that it got rocky between them ever since then but he also came out later with a statement saying that he's not going to have one month of bad of a bad time replace seven years of good times but at the end of the day a seven year run especially in a sportcasting world typically analysts and everyone else rotates around generally like every three years or less so them making it to seven years is actually pretty good and I think it is a good time for him to split just because I don't think Shannon and Skip was really meshing all that great anymore Shannon's more of a jokester and really kind of goats on and it kind of started feeling reminiscent to when it was Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith where it kind of got to a point it wasn't feeling so much about sports anymore as it was just kind of goading and mocking Skip and Skip's personality and style that he has as a persona it's not hard to do because he could get it really annoying in some of the topics that you talk about and the fact that all they ever talked about was LeBron the Cowboys and uh, Tom Brady, it, it just got, it started to get kind of stale in that regard, but I don't know if Skip's the only reason why Shannon would actually be leaving, because I'm sure Fox probably wasn't all that impressed when he did an episode where he had one of his topics, and he was doing the persona of actually doing like a mixed doing a mixed shot or a mixed drink and I don't really know of many companies that are cool with you uh, making it look like you're trying to drink some alcohol on company time I don't know of very many companies that are, that are cool with that and I know that he recently dropped an f-bomb as well along with some of the other incidences Shannon started to have outside the company with like the Memphis Grizzlies the Brett Favre defamation there's a lot of heat that was kind of going Shannon Sharp's way and granted he was the root of a lot of it but I think it was a good time for them to split overall because they kind of needed a new voice and realistically I don't know who they're going to put with Skip Skip could very well end up going into having to do his own thing and have just his podcast and maybe his just own talk show, kind of like how Colin Cowherd does, because he never could get, get guests on the show because there's too many players, too many sports writers that just don't like him. So I don't really know if skip being on a debate show is going to be a consistent thing going forward here pretty soon and then uh, for Shannon I think he'll wind up probably going back either to his old place with CBS or maybe another group like MTV or something like that or he might just stay independent with this club Shay Shay because I know that his podcast is doing extremely well and he has no issues bringing in 
different athletes, different guests, because everyone's always willing to talk to him. He's got a really good rapport with a lot of people. So I think Shannon will be doing just fine even after the NBA Finals are over and their supposed split happens. Unless it turns out being a gag. But I do believe with how everything's been going, I think that after the NBA Finals, that will be the end of Skip and Shannon together and could very well end up being the end of Undisputed unless they end up deciding to put two different analysts on the panel and move Skip to doing his own thing somewhere else. But for me it's kind of interesting. I hope they both I hope they do both the best even though I know they're millionaires so they're doing well much better than most. But I guess that'll be the end of an era and hey, they had a lot of good moments and then they had some questionable moments but like all things it's all about the journey and where it takes you but hope you all enjoyed let me know what you guys think if you guys think it was due time think that they should have had a longer run or what your opinion of the whole situation is but uh, later